So in today's video, I'll be showing you how to read a price history graph to use it to analyze your FBA deals. So today I'll be running you through the most basic and easy way to use price history graphs to analyze your FBA deals. These are super important because it allows you to spot trends to make sure you're not gonna get undercut and just to all round make sure the product does look like a good buy. So I'll be showing you four products on this video and then analyzing them and just showing you a variety of different things to look for just to make sure it is in fact a good FBA deal. So the first product we're gonna look at is this Jurassic World Super Colossal T-Rex toy on Argos. Now I don't think we can actually buy this product, but I will just be analyzing it just for this video. So we can see it's 35 pound on Argos at the moment. If we head over to Amazon, I did have this one preset already. So um, we see it selling for 77 pound 90 at the moment. So on this one right away, there's a couple of things which I'm spotting which would ring alarm bells. Um, the first thing is obviously Amazon being on the listing. So currently Amazon aren't on the listing. Um, so you could easily fall into the trap of thinking that Amazon aren't on the listing. But if you have a look on the price history graph, you can see that they previously were. Um, we can spot this because the color is shaded in orange. Now, um, it is important to remember that you can compete against Amazon. Some people don't even try to compete against Amazon, but you can do if the data looks good and if it's a good profit. Now, on the front end, this looks like a fantastic profit item and you might think you can compete with Amazon, but realistically you can't. If we have a look at their price over the last three months, we can see they've had it as low as maybe under 40 pound. Um, and we know for sure it has been about you know 45 pound probably there. So the issue is with this one, if you was to buy this product, there's a very, very high chance that you'd send this into Amazon and perhaps within a month, within a week, obviously no one really knows, Amazon are gonna get back on the listing and they're gonna undercut you massively. So you just can't compete. Um, so on this one, this is one that we would definitely avoid. Okay, so next up we have this Coco Calming Face Mist on the Body Shop. So this is currently four pound on the Body Shop. On Amazon at the moment, it's selling for eight pound fifty four. So if we just um, load it up on Profitable, so I'll put the price in there. So again, we're just going to ignore the data. Um, great. So on this one, there's a couple of things which we can see right away firstly obviously amazon haven't been on the listing so that's a good sign um the next positive thing is the price is that it's at its lowest price in three months so um if we have a look here um it was previously selling for nine pound 40 that probably was and you can see that it's now at its lowest price it's been at eight pound 54 so that is a really positive thing um, and this deal definitely looks like a potential the next thing we'd be looking at is the sales rank line now the sales rank line is the green line here um, and what we use this for is basically to try and gauge how much it's selling now obviously we're profitable we do provide um, estimated sales data but it's always best just to back this up with the sales rank so the sales rank is basically a number that all products on Amazon get um, it's where it sits in the search within that category basically so um, what we can see here is that it's not selling very much basically it is selling just not a huge amount so um, what we want to be looking for is movement in the line um, the more frequent the movement um, or the more stable the movement um, with little squiggles that means it's probably selling a lot more um, so on this one because we can see it selling not a lot we're looking at the jumps really um, so typically what these jumps can indicate is a sale so um, what you'll find is as it's sort of being the sales rank has been creeping up and then as it dropped that's because it's sold um, and, it, and then it, so it's creeping up again and then it's sold. Now, it's important to remember that this is not an exact science and there's a lot more detailed way of, of looking at this. There's many things um, which can affect the sales rank line, not just sales, but what you can gauge from this is whether the item is selling or not. So we can see that this product is selling, it's just not selling um, very much and we'll cover ones which are selling a lot more on the next one. Okay, so next up we have these two construction workers from Playmobil. They're currently £6.29. So if we have a look at it on Amazon, we can see it's selling for £18.99. So let's just load it up on Profitable. So £6.29. 
Great, so if we load up the price graph, so we can see this is selling 30 to 90 a month and it on the surface looks like a great profit at the moment, £7.22. But let's have a look to see what the price graph says. Okay, so on this one, it's a nice and easy one to read really. Um, if we start on the sales rank, just following on from the last one we looked at, um, we can see that this is definitely selling a lot more than the last one. You can see just from how more squiggly it is basically. Um, it's obviously got a much lower sales rank as well, but the more movement in the line, that obviously means it's selling more than the other one. You know, there's items which will be selling a huge amount more than this, but you can see that this one is definitely selling. So that's, that's a positive and that marries up with this data here as well now what we're looking for and what's important is the buy box line on this one so the current buy box price is 18 pound 99 as we can see from up here which at the moment that looks amazing because that means we'll be at a profit of 7 pound 22 a unit but the issue is if we have a look over the last three months on average the price has been a lot lot cheaper um, so you know going back to September it was as low as 12 pound and then it slowly increased over the next few months but its average is probably about 13 pound um, so you know what you wanted to be doing on this one is basically basing your profit off that figure um, so you know the nice thing about profit is you can change the, the figures on this so say if we base it on 13 pound and then click calculate again so what we can see is that obviously drops the profit massively. So that drops it down to £2.33 profit unit. Now, this isn't a bad buy by any means still, but it's just something to bear in mind when you're um, analysing deals because there'll be a lot of these where it's a, it's a good profit now, but if you actually look at the average price over the last three months, it's not that good of a deal. So what the risk is with these ones is the risk of getting undercut. So there's a very high chance that once you bought the product, you send it into Amazon, um, this price is just gonna plummet because there's gonna be a cheaper seller um, than you. So probably what's happened is there is um, another seller who is probably buying at wholesale, um, or it might even be um, Playmobil themselves, or someone who buys direct from Playmobil. Um, so they've sort of had the average price and they've probably gone out of stock, hence why um, the price has increased here. Um, so these ones you can go for, but you just need to be very careful and look at the data just to make sure you're not risking yourself getting undercut and potentially losing money. So next up we have this Boglins hand puppet on 365 games. Now this is £33.72 um, at the moment on here. Um, so on, just head over to the Amazon listing. Now um, before we even start we can see one important thing which is that there isn't a buy box um, and this basically means a, it, there is a suppressed buy box. Now I will just open up um, the graph so if we just enter in the price, £33.72. So um, let's load up the price graph as well. So again, on this one, although it's not selling very much on the surface, the profit, the profit looks good. Um, £16.63 profit a unit. So um, what we're looking for here, there's a couple of interesting things to look, up, to look for. Now this, this one's probably a little bit more difficult to read because there's quite a lot going on. Um, straight up, we can see Amazon are, are on the listing. Um, on this one, we can see that someone's actually been competing against Amazon. Amazon haven't actually had the buy box. So if you have a look at the Amazon graph here, you can see Amazon are here, but the buy box, the buy box is here. So that means another seller has had the buy box. So that means that Amazon can be competed against, um, but that's just because someone's cheaper than, than basically um, they're selling for 40, whereas by the looks of it, Amazon was selling for probably 43. Um, Pounds, but um, the important thing which we need to look at in this one is about it being a suppressed buy box. So, you know, we can see straight away that it's suppressed just from this listing. But um, if you have a look here, um, we can see that basically the buy box line disappears. Um, now, the reason for this is because it's a suppressed buy box. Now, a suppressed buy box is usually caused um, if there's not a valid offer, um, or um, more typically, if the Prime sellers Amazon deem as too expensive. So once you started selling on Amazon, you may get no, you may have seen notifications where Amazon is saying that they believe your price is too expensive. If that is the case, they will suppress the buy box. So that basically means there's no um, buy it now button. So you know what we're a bit wanting to be careful of on this one again is you know on the surface of this at £65.58, you know this looks like a great buy for getting the sales. Obviously at the moment. Um, however, the chances are, um, you know, this is the cause for the low sales because there's no 
buy it now button that makes it a lot harder for someone to buy it now you will still get sales your just number of sales will be reduced um, and then this obviously marries up with the pricing and follows on from the last product about getting undercut so currently the price is showing is 65 pound 58 but you know we can see that looking over the last three months the average price has been about 40 pounds so um, instantly um, as soon as this seller comes back into stock, which there is a very high chance of it happening, um, you'd probably be selling it and losing money. So this is another one which we'd definitely stay away from. So that's all from me. I hope you enjoyed the video. I plan to do more videos showing product analysis in the future. This was just a basic one just to show you the most simple way of using the pricing graphs. And if you do want to join Profitable, just click the link in the description.